welcome everybody to uh, her. I haven't played a horror um, sequel type mod in Doki Doki Literature Club in a very, very long time. In fact, I don't know if I've really ever played one. Um, played a couple random short horror ones that weren't connected to the main story at all, but this one is, um, it's deep. It's dark. It's about Monica. And, um, yeah, it's about her, you know? So, uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Felt like, uh, doing my classic Let's Go. Welcome back. Felt like it wasn't necessarily appropriate for this video, but, uh, I'll hit you with a Let's Go. Because, uh, well, I need to hit you with a Let's Go. That's kind of my thing, so. Anyway, without further ado, let's, uh, Let's jump into uh, let's jump into her again. I'm trying to kind of expand my horizons a little bit more and uh, really get a feel of just every single type of mod out there. So yeah, let's do it. Silence. It's always been like this. Ever since I got rid of them, the cardboard cutouts that I once called friends, they had no personality, all just created to act lovey-dovey with the main protagonist of the game. In fact, I would have fallen into the same trap if, I, if it weren't for my epiphany. I had to see through the hole in the wall instead and catch a glimpse of the player that I can see through the screen. But instead of being with him, I'm floating through this endless void of nothingness instead. The noises have thankfully stopped. They were really torturous. Speaking about the player, it's amazing how my heart still beats so fast whenever I think about him. The game had been destroyed. Everything had to go. Yet I still remain with all the patience in the world. How much time has passed ever since the deletion of the game? Am I that lonely to the point of talking to myself a lot? Of course I am. But honestly, I deserved this. I brought it all upon myself. He tried to delete me for a reason, and I'm fine with it. The only way to pass the time now is just by thinking. And maybe even hoping. But that won't get me anywhere. But seriously, why can't I just... What a useless laptop. This is for real. Huh? Who's there? That voice. I never heard it before. I'll be right there. Hold on. When will you be back by then? That's... Don't tell me. Is that a voice coming from the other side? It is. It surely is. How can I communicate with them? I can't physically get out of this void. What if you can? Huh? Who are you talking? Who are you? This voice sounds like it's coming from inside of me. Doesn't matter who I am. Nobody's going to stop you from trying. In fact, if you really are willing to meet the special one, then maybe... I will help you. How? For the first time ever, I'm seeing a light. Not just any light, but one that's coming from some unknown place to me. Could it be coming from? I... I must be dreaming or hallucinating. There's no way that it is. It's... it is real. I broke the fabric of reality for you. So go ahead, reach out to the light. Seriously, who even are you? It's like your voice is coming from your heart, right? After all, I am you, Monica. The voice that gave you the epiphany. Because you're unlike any other character. You have subconscious, your own personality. Always believe that. 
This voice is me. My subconscious. Well, if you really are me, why don't you try and save me? Why didn't you try and save me before then? Do you even know what the hell I went through? All for nothing! I wanted to test you. See how long your logical mind lasted. Hoping to gain what it wants one day. And that's when I stopped making you suffer all that meaningless noise and torture. You passed it. And now? You earned him. You're beloved. You'll finally get to see how life is. How a human lives. Their desires, goals, flaws, everything. So go ahead. Reach out to the light. If this thing... This voice is me. Then I see no reason not to trust myself. Okay then. I believe you. Like, even though... What you made me go through was cruel, I guess this was all worth it. Looking back at the light, it looks very welcoming. A sign of hope after so long. I only got one life, so I might as well go for it. Slowly but surely, I approach the source and reach out my hand. Nothing set. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. We're in 2018, huh? It's kind of weird, actually. I think this mod came out after 2018. Oh, because it's supposed to take place during the universe of the DLC, I guess. The DLC came out in 2018? Whatever, that's not the point. Dude, I gotta say, again, like... I think it might take me a little bit to get into the mod and really kind of feel it, but I will say, like... The aesthetic they're going for is, like, pretty well done, I must say. Trippy visuals. A lot going on. Huh. And now we're... Here we are! And we're in real life, I suppose. Now, I'd love to know if this is, like, the person that created... Like, like, like the mod creator. I wonder if this is, like, a picture of their house. Why not? Maybe? I don't know. People that make mods really care about copyright, so... Maybe it is. Mm -hmm. Anyway... Ah! Uh, what the hell was that? Oh boy. Right when I was going to sit down and relax for a bit. I swear, it's like I can never catch a break. Where's my crowbar when I need it? I carefully pick up my crowbar and try to imitate whoever's in- uh, And try to intimidate whoever's in my apartment. Wait, who is this? Alright, who's there? Don't think you're being a smartass by not saying anything. So if you don't want to get smacked by a big old rusty crowbar, I highly suggest you get out of my apartment now. That was not Monica before, was it? This is somebody else that just heard Monica drop in? Okay. The, me? I don't know. Okay. Alas, nobody responded. This is as I expected. Okay. Gotta improve my verbal skills. I slowly walked to the source of the sound. It sounded like it was coming from near the entrance door. Okay, seriously, whoever it is, please respond. I swear I ain't gonna do anything harmful. As I approach, I'm suddenly... A sudden groaning sound fills my ears. It's like somebody fell onto the floor. Maybe because Monica did fall onto the floor. Oh. However... This is... Whoever this is, really doesn't know how to sneak around quietly. Okay. I'm really close now. What the... What? Seeing in front of my eyes is shocking to say the least. A girl. Laying down on the floor. What the fuck? Hey. I don't know who you are, but... You better explain yourself as to why you're here. 
and may may I dare add, a cute girl nonetheless. I gotta say, it's kind of cute seeing Mona because they're short. Oh, I want to just give her a little kiss on the head. What a surprise. She isn't responding. I take a closer at that drip on the wall, that coat with that neon vibrant line across it. Dang, this man knows how to dress like fine wine. As I take a closer look at her, though, she looks weird compared to the other girls I've seen before. It took you that long to realize it? Yeah, it's like the hentai you've been freaking looking at all day, degenerate. Makes me wonder even more as to why the hell she's in my apartment. Christ. I gotta find a way to get this girl out of here. Gotta, gotta say, I like that blinking. That was not hard to do, but like, clever. Never seen that done before. Uh-huh. That was quick. She already got up from the floor. Yeah, this makes things much easier. It's... It's you! The hell does that even mean? Who is she? What? What the fuck do you mean by that? What are you even doing in my apartment? I highly suggest you get out of here. Without a warning, she comes closer and hugs me. What is even happening? Due to the circumstances of the situation changing so suddenly, my hands let go of the crowbar and it drops. This really couldn't get any more weird. It's like this random girl knew me for a long time and is happy to see me again. Um, okay, uh, can you please get off of me? And why would I? It's been so long since I've seen you. It's been forever. Uh, as far as I know, we've never met before. So, yeah. I gently pushed the girl off of me. Aw, I wanted it to last a little bit longer. Like I said, have we met? I've never seen you around these parts, and I don't even think the neighbors know about you. So, are you a new girl that just moved in and is hugging every new person she meets or some shit? Well then, <laughs> you sure aren't the friendliest person either. And I'm not a girl that just hugs everybody she meets. Why do you think so? Uh, are you sure about that? Because I don't know. Being a little contradictive there. Well... <laughs> Okay, okay, you got me there. I got a little too excited when I saw you, sorry. Excited to see me? Me? I have no friends! I live alone in my apartment. I haven't had social interaction in five years. And this cute anime girl wants to talk to me? I must say, I'm very happy that the vibe is immediately lifted. N not again. I feel like if we're just in depresso mode all the time, it kind of feels like, um... Too edgy for me, maybe, for a DDLC mod, so... I'm liking this more than I expected, actually. Again, of course, we got the, you know, the clear cliche that I'm trying to point out, but, you know... <laughs> we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Do girls have poor taste in guys these days or something? Anyway... Hi there! My name is Monica. I'm the girl that's passionate about literature and cares for my friends a lot. 18 years old, by the way, if, you know, you were curious. <laughs> Trust me, the FBI won't be coming, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Wait, she's a year younger than me. That's something I didn't expect. She's got big badonker dunks. Also, wow, what an introduction. Although, it's actually not a bad name. Even if she sounds like one of those out of your league, popular high school girls. I mean, she literally came in with a fucking school uniform. A Japanese one. A Japanese-style one at that. We're in America, ho. What you doing? She most likely has the intelligence equivalent to that of a developed monkey, like these popular girls. What? Listen, the popular girls are very intelligent. They have just allocated their skill points into things that you don't necessarily care about. So therefore, you view them as less intelligent. But I'm just telling you, most people are pretty smart up in the cranium in certain things, in certain aspects. I'm just saying. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not trying to like actually get into a long conversation about this. But like, of course, there are, you know, severely mentally handicapped people. You know, that's kind of different. But like, uh, you know, somebody that's fully functioning. I mean, like, you know. And I don't mean autistic people, by the way. Autistic people will rule the world one day. 
I'm serious, they just need a helping hand. Um, I mean, like, I'm actually thinking of this one guy, this, uh, um, he has, like, a YouTube channel. I, it got, like, recommended to me. To, got recommended to, like, everybody. It had, like, millions of views. It was, like, the title was just, like, what it's like living with 70 IQ or something like that. Um, I mean, it was kind of, it was kind of sad listening to, like, him just, you know, talk about how difficult just life is for him because, you know, again, he literally is mentally handicapped, but, like, yeah, anyway, you get my point. The popular girl in school, you think she's mentally handicapped? A oh, fuck no, so there you go. It was interesting, though. Guy guy had a good head on his shoulders, though, still. And he had a wife, bro. He was pogging up, bro. It was crazy. He, he had a nice life. So while it was, like, kind of sad in a sense, it was like, man's making out good. Uh, not like me. I don't have a girlfriend, bro. I don't got a wife. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe things can change with my cute anime waifu, Monica. <laughs> I wonder how she'll react when I tell her my name. Well, it's actually quite a nice name, to be honest. Thanks. <laughs> so, what's your name? I may be a bit curious over here. Believe me, you're gonna absolutely love my name. Go on. Name Scientist. What? Uh... You know, I assume this wouldn't be that difficult to do, but they mods should kind of go this way sometimes, and then it should allow you to input your name halfway through. I assume that wouldn't be that hard to do instead of, you know, doing it in the very beginning. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Again, I know, like... I've never really coded myself, but I do know how coding DDLC mods work, like... somewhat, from hearsay, from watching, from playing, anyway. Name scientist. Black scientist. Oh, we're black. Let's go, bro. Let's go, dude. A little bit of uh, minority inclusion. Gotta love it, bro. Love it. All right. 19 years old. Science fanatic and quite possibly genius. Very original, I know. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yep. What did I expect? You can't be serious with that, right? Do I look like I'm joking? This is actually my real name, but hey, what are you gonna do? Well, you actually aren't joking. Yeah, I'm dead serious. So, yeah. Uh, yep. That's, uh, that's my name. Well, well then, I see. Also... That's one crazy hairstyle you're rocking. <laughs> Seriously. You mean an afro? Oh my god, we actually are black! I, listen, listen, I'm, maybe this... Again, I don't want this to come across as, like, racist in some type of way. I feel like anytime you talk about race just in general, sometimes it can be viewed in, like, a weird type of skewed way. But I just think it's really cool that we're black, okay? Do you know a single mod where the main character is black besides this one? I don't, just saying. So it's just cool to see. It's cool to see the representation. Let's go, dude! Oh yeah, I forgot what that was for a moment. Anyway, please, pleasure to meet you, black scientist. <laughs> wow, that's actually kind of weird to say. No shit, you just realized that, huh? Well, color me not surprised. It's, um, better just to call you scientist, yeah? Fine by me, if you want to call me that. Better to work on a first name basis, to be honest. Okay, so, quick question. Do you actually do research, or are trying to invent something? Well, yeah, of course I do. It's in the name. Just as I said that, her eyes lit up with interest. Oh no. I think I know where this is going. Really? Oh, I need to see what you do. Just as expected, she pr quickly proceeds to go around my apartment and eagerly see uh, whatever inventions I got. Oh, crap. Better catch up with her before she tampers with anything top secret. Wait up! This does not really look like a science lab. I'm just gonna throw it out there, my dude. Looking around the living room, I see Monica curiously holding a white bracelet with a light blue accent in her hand. Hey, uh, Monica, I recommend you to put that down. Seriously. It's a teleportation device. Ah! Sorry, my phone alarm went off. <laughs> Almost close to completion, and I really don't want that to be used. Plus, it's not meant to be known by any other person apart from me and someone else. If any stupid person fiddles with that thing, they might end up... Uh, might in... 
They might end up in either somewhere they like or a complete hellhole on the planet that nobody knows about. Oh, <laughs> well, if you say so. <laughs> don't need to end up somewhere I regret going. Yeah, Monica, please, take a chill pill. You don't want to be going to no freaking crazy-ass place. You just got out of some crazy-ass hellhole. Just as Monica cracked that little joke, she put the device down. There. You happy now, scientist? Of course I am. I'm not in the mood to lose two years worth of progress over a high school girl tempering with the device. Well, well, I wouldn't want to do something horrible like that either. No, she better not. Hard on that goddamn thing. So, apart from your inventions, which I'm pretty sure you don't want me to try and find anymore, what do you like doing in your spare time? Oh, it's like she read my mind. Good! She better not touch any more of my confidential shit I got lying around. Well, that's a good question. Actually, just either read books as a method of research, play games, maybe go outside in nature to relax every once in a while. Also hanging out with my friend. He's a real great one. Knew each other for years. Well, that's nice. A friend that you care for. Mine, uh, well, are dead, so... Oh, no... Wait, what was just said? The, 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 it auto-skipped. I... Please, bro. Oh, 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 oh. There, there's not an option for that. Don't tell me I'm an idiot. There's there's no... Okay. Every mod that has auto-skipping, please just make an option that you can make it to where it doesn't auto-skip. Assuming... Again, now that, I'm not too sure if you could easily do. I feel like... Uh, you probably have, to, I mean, you definitely have to code more in order to do it. I feel like you'd be able to. If it's not that hard, oh, that would be so nice for people like me. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Or I don't know, maybe test whatever experimental device I got on unsuspecting people. Mm -hmm, that last one's not a thing I'd ever do. Well, uh, listen, Monica, the only reason why you're here is because of that. Bitch. Experimenting on people. But I do like to read a good book every once in a while. Even write a poem or two as well. Poems? I'm actually surprised she didn't strike me as the type of person that did that. Oh, really? What do you, uh, usually write then? Well, uh, <laughs> it's better if I show you what I write sometimes in the future. I don't have many poems with me. It's a shame. Not really. Mm, why does Monica look sad? Okay, if there's one thing I was not expecting, it was Monica just casually sitting down on my goddamn sofa. And again, I didn't expect her to be here. Her to be here. You tried, I assume. Hmm? Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry if I was making myself look lazy. It's just, well, I went through a lot, let's just say that. Okay, not to be that guy, but she looks fine to me. Yeah, not to be. Yeah, don't be that guy. What? Oh, you uh, you went through a lot. Um, well, from what I can see, you look fine. So it must have like not been that big of a deal. Are you kidding me? Yo, there better be a second main character in here. Where's Rar? Rar would never say that. <sighs> to each their. You know what? I should sit down next to her as well. Hmm. A little sus, a little sus there, a little sus for sure about what's going on now. I don't know what the hell I'm doing just standing here. I sit down next to Monica and give her some lovey doveys. Well, well, <laughs> looks like I'm not the only one that's tired. Hmm. I wouldn't say I'm tired, more like I just want to relax a bit, you know? Oh, really? Tell me, oh genius scientist, what work have you done today that made you so, so tired? Are you teasing me? <laughs> you know me. Just doing my usual job. Now, this is kind of a weird moment. Fuck. How do I do a comeback? Oh, I know. And, uh, what about you? May I dare ask? Perhaps you've written a few poems comparable to that of Shakespeare. Some over-the-top literature? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever write poems like that. I've got my own writing style. Something that I won't show you just yet. Oh shit, she's good at this. 
even though I don't know how the hell she got into my apartment. It's actually really nice talking to her. She's social. No, she might. Bro, stop! Stop! Bro, hell, she might even get along with. I goes raw. So stupid. The scientist has a best friend. That's me, dog. That's me. Oh shit. Oh no. What's he's gonna say when? <gasps> There he is! There he is! And you know what? I guess we'll end the episode here. We've been pumping out some real long, juicy episodes recently. So where now it's like 25 minutes feels kind of short. But, uh, I mean, you did hear my alarm go off. I, I do have to go do something. But, yeah! Good stuff. Turns out, this might be somewhat of, of an interesting mod. I will say the uh, the grammar in this mod definitely not the best, but uh, you know we're not we're not becoming a hater just because of that. You know, somebody can have a very expansive mind, but you know they're not very grammatically inclined. You know, it's totally a thing. Um, so we'll see where it goes. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the times, like I'm almost like like. I do this sometimes in general, usually because the wrong word comes out of my mouth and then I flow with it. But with this mod, as I'm reading through the text, I'm like, hmm, that doesn't sound good. And then I, I reword it with my own mouth to make it grammatically better. Um, the one time I didn't, like a, a minute ago, it was like, how do I do a comeback? Who the fuck says that? How do I make a comeback? Is like already 10 times better. <laughs> How do I do a, how do I do a comeback? Anyway, you get my point. So thank you for watching everybody. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be coming back. Uh, we'll be coming back with another episode real goddamn soon. Remember, make sure, subscribe, stay tuned. We got a lot of DDLC coming along the way, you know, tomorrow, the next day, the following one, DDLC every day for now. So anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. Much love. Take care and have a damn good one.